Hey you guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Alright, I had a really good question from someone. Alright, um, now understand this will not be with every font, but any font that may have extended ligatures, glyphs, uh, dingbats, things like that. You will not have access to them when you're in here typing. Oh, can't even type my own name. When you're in here typing in uh, Canvas. Okay, either in the online or the offline, all right, uh, using your TTF converter, things like that. Just doesn't happen. So you're in here and you think, okay, and the font that she specifically had a question about was I Love Glitter. Now, mind you, that is a personal use only font. Personal use only does not include gift giving. Okay, it's just a little side note. All right, so let's come down here and find I Love Glitter. Here we go. This computer. Come on. All right. So I love glitter right here. So let's get this changed. I'm going to open this up because there's another quick thing I want to talk about. You see how the holes are already missing here? Come up here. Change that to regular. You can bold it. You can make it thicker later on after you've got your stuff done. Well, what can I do? I want to add the little heart connectors in there. Well, I'm kind of in trouble. Okay. I will need another program to do this. The best one that I know of is Nexus Font. I do have the link for all of you that are in my group because, again, this channel is for the members of my group. Um, I do have that posted for you. Um, it was actually live on the page the other day, and it is also located in our font photo album. So go to the photos, albums, then look at the font photo albums. It's right in there. All right, selected, I'm going to hit the I, and that brings up I Love Glitter. So let's click on that, okay? Well, big whoop de crap doesn't do anything, right? Nope, you double click on it, and it brings that up. All right, so with that highlighted in gray here, let's come up to this gritty looking thing. Aha, this brings up your character map, and it brings up every single thing that's available to us. Well, you will see right up here, these first couple ones to about right, where's it end? Right here, you'll see in the upper left corner, here are all your keyboard access. Okay, so you hit shift in that key, whatever it might be, and this will come up, okay? Well, there's your heart connection right there. So the shift in the lower line will give you that. Well, big whoop -de. What if I want something down here? Aha. What if I want this? Well, let me hit that. Just a single tap on my key or on my uh, mouse. Hmm. That's good. I see it there. I want it in my project, Jen. Well, let's come here and click select. Please pay attention to this. Okay, watch what happens. I click copy. Okay, so I'm going to come down here and toggle back to my canvas. Okay, I'm going to click the T. I'm going to come in here. Come on, come on, come on. Getting this back in here. Now I'm clicking my arrow button over. I'm going to hit Control V and see what happens. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to come back here to Nexus font. I'm going to left click drag back highlight just like you do on any program where you highlight to copy i'm right clicking brings up my right click option menu and i'm going to click copy there let's see if it works here okay so i'm going to hit control v here aha there it works okay so i'm going to use my arrow keys on my computer i'm going to click that bring that back okay and i will tell you this can be a little glitchy Okay, so if it starts to not work for you, just keep working with it. You may even want to shut, if you've been working in program for a little while, try shutting it down and restarting. It will work for you. Okay, just like I'm doing. I'm doing nothing fancy. I don't have a special brother canvas program. Okay, let's come process overlap weld. This is taking forever. Okay, so there we go. That is how you want to do things like that.
all right now if you want to make your lines thicker things like that you can go and add your offsets and all that crazy good stuff and then you're going to have to mind your centers that to me is well worth the 50 bucks you pay for sure cuts a lot but again that is my own opinion but um you will want to uh do your offset and then all that other crazy stuff so that your holes will stay if you want this slightly thicker okay but that is how you go about finding your alternate characters utilizing Nexus font. I will also tell those of us that use uh, shortcuts a lot. Because sometimes installing fonts permanently can cause that program to shut down quite frequently. Okay. I will only ever install my fonts permanently, the ones that are on my favorite. So Debbie Simontelli. Uh, Laura Worthington's all of those makers those are the ones that I will have permanently installed in there okay all the other ones I don't I use them on a temporary basis if you need to search how to do that just search fonts and uh, look for sure cuts a lot in the title and you'll see how to do that it's pretty easy but if you are not familiar with what's in the font you're like man Jen I really want it well just take a look in here you can set up your uh in Nexus font this is a totally free program um, again it tells you all the kind of good stuff that you may want in here but it tells you what all is loaded in here see in sure cuts a lot we have this inbuilt into our uh, actual program so let me actually pull up I'm gonna pause and pull up sure cuts a lot okay so I have it pulled up let's start typing here oh, let me back this let's do that so there's Jen okay let me break this little guy back here now if I wanted to come over here and add anything you see this panel is exactly what Nexus font brought up but we have this inbuilt uh, into our program so then I just type that come over here type Mike Come up here and hit my arrow it's going to highlight it all I come up here to path and then union and I am done and if I want to make it thicker I come over here I grab my wrench go to normal we'll do shadow rounded because the ends are rounded and that's going to pop that up and then if I want to tweak it I do a point zero one zero no that's going to be too much your one let's see what that does okay yep oh. not enough point zero one let's see what that does but this is how I do it in sure cuts a lot there okay there's the holes still remaining I click preview and there are my holes okay that's just the difference between the two programs okay for those of you that don't understand the difference um, that is just a for instance for you okay um, and those of us that have sure cuts a lot this is the reason if you want to get uh, the Nexus font it can actually help you catalog if you want to um, add all of your fonts in here um, and you can put them into categories and things like that. Okay, it's totally up to you because it's free. All right, guys, if you have any questions at all, you will only find me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot, guys.